okay so um what's up guys in this video uh i'll be showing you guys how to identify fake breakouts from the actual breakout how to identify the fake one from the actual um breakout so um there's a method mainly this um, particular approach works more on gold so i'll be showing you how it's done on gold okay first let me use the recent trade this morning that happened this morning they say you see this move here you see this one here now you see this one here that later broke out then came back down okay so let me show you so the um the aim is to catch moves like this not this ones because this ones actually will end with losses because it will just turn back to hit our stop loss before but all these ones you see moved direct from here okay so how do we get to um, cash know that this um this move here is a fake out okay you can see this trend line here this is a 15 minutes time frame um where did the turn rank come from uh, yeah okay all the way up from here still stretches forward though okay so this is the trend line from a bigger time frame it went all the way across here so that 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 train is really valid because some touches were above now you see like that touch before it went down and um we had several touches here and some fake out before this particular push to the upside to test this um zone here before shooting down okay okay so since the trend line is now valid how do we now know that how do we now um treat this fake out properly so as not to end up with losses or how do we identify that this move was a fake out there is this um, thing about gold let's say for instance the market was at this point so we okay since it bounced at this place there was a bounce here bounce here so we entered for a buy at this point so when the market broke out from this zone um it is safer for us to trade okay let me say this is where the market hit first before turning back so i won't enter it i won't enter a trip directly from here to to buy i'll wait for the market to turn the previous points um i call it um the f and r so i'll wait for the market to touch the f and r or make a retracement on the f and f and r so those that f and r means um recent c and frequency the most um frequent point the market touched and the most recent points the market touched let's say for instance you can see this place here this line here you see the market here was a strong resistance zone strong strong even at this point itself was a strong support but though this is the most frequent place too because here you can see a little bit so this is the most frequent place the market fell to break out from so when the market now i buy from here i will close my profit from here maybe let's say 50 pips or so then when i see this move to the up i won't just enter i'll wait for the market now to come down make a retracement okay then move up again to break this neckline because here now will be a neckline because you see when the market move up it created this um, red candle stick now and went down so now i'll wait for other um, candle now to shoot up again for the market to move up again and break this recent high it created then when it break it then i'll know that then this is the market is shooting up at least to this point before retracing back okay so now as the market shot up went back okay i, I mapped out this zone for it to now turn it to um, a support because here is a zone on its own so for it to turn this place at least here before shooting up so you see the market so i waited for it to come back then my buy will be here 
I'll be waiting for a buy at this point. Say, let's say a little bit higher at this point here yeah, to take it up maybe to this level here. Yeah. Sorry. And my stop loss should be a little bit below here. Yeah. So it will be um, a good one is to 2.8 risk to reward ratio. So this will be actually what I'll be waiting for. Yeah. For the market to after coming down hit here go up again break this previous um high created shoot up break it then i'll enter and take it up here so with that again um this is not actually a sniper entry because the sniper entry is like catching a move from all the way from here so i will also um talk of talk about sniper entry so now this is how you identify fake out so you see if the market now came down then shoot up again then you see now you are safe down for you entering and ending up with losses now you are on the safer side because the market didn't come back to trigger it before going down no but the market went all down again did the same thing again i would have wait for it to break not just this one again but this one also and the market didn't shoot up to break it so we're still on the safer side okay so now this is another move. Let me delete this one here. Now, this was another move I cut to there. I'm good. I'm good. So, when the market um, shot up at this point, I was expecting the market to touch here first. I, I bought at, was it here? I was expecting the market to um, reach this zone here before closing out. But the market didn't um, reach up here. Because here now you can see this strong zone here this strong zone that the market fell to break so when it bounced here with this um, nice doji candle or will I call it a hammer I entered and um, my stop loss was a little bit below here my take profit was around this zone here so the market didn't reach it the market retraced all the way from here so when it broke this other trend line here now i wanted it i waited for it to retest now this is what i was this is what i explained now and this is more like of a sniper entry and this is the one i call sniper entry okay so now when the market broke out yeah i waited now for it to hit this zone like i said hit this zone then turn this particular um, um, zone here or this particular um, line here to um, resistance before shooting up down so when the market was here I put this um, my sell order here at this zone saying that if it should come back here I will sell down okay so now when the market now went down on this opening of this green candle I I entered some trade when it opened this red one again at this point here and went back again to do some minor retest I entered again so yeah you see I had zero or little Jordan so this is more like a sniper entry okay this is more like a snipe sniper entry so this is how you catch sniper entry you catch sniper entries mainly on retracement retracement on gold so it is caught more on retracement on gold i will show you another example again so you understand better okay now let's use this one too as an example this trade i took now as an example on fake out so you see the most recent zone here is where you see here the market came this is the zone at, on its own but this is the most recent place which played around most here was once a support when it broke out it changed to resistance came here changed to resistance now and shoots to the downside now when it broke out you would have said ah i would have entered your normal sometime i enter when my moving average cross this way i do enter sometime from here so i would have cut all this place here but it's better to be on the safer side than entering trade aggressively and ending out stopping out in loss okay so when the market created this stuff it's normally creates these three i call it um the prisoner 
so because the green are on this side the green on this side and the red are in the middle so it's like um holding the captive okay so it happens this thing this particular candle pattern happens most when this moving average wants to cross one to cross so i was um expecting the market now because my my first view on this trade i i did i did a screenshot i will also put the screenshot was when the market bounces at this place here before i enter the trade okay but on seeing this particular pattern which is a pattern i do recognize always i entered here on the third green candle to to buy to this one to this level or above here above here to this point so my first tip was at this point so the market didn't hit so i waited the market retraced from that point and went directly to where i predicted it this is now like a sniper entry and at the same time a safe entry to enter you understand so now this is another sniper entry when it came back retest opened it formed this um, hammer here at that doji candle let me you see this doji candle there you see it here at this point here so other candle opened which green other one opened again green bouncing on this uh, moving average i entered at that point you see it had zero um drawdown and went direct to my tp so this one trade gave me drawdown because i did what i entered um, aggressively jumping not to miss the move you understand now that's why it's good to wait for a setup than jumping into a trade so you see if i had um, waited for my setup i wouldn't have had this drawdown although it didn't hit my stop loss but at least i wouldn't have had this drawdown i do uh, enter trades with zero drawdown although this drawdown and let me say i'm risking one percent of my um, profit my account or my normal trading account so this drawdown here should give me 0 0.5 percent drawdown and which is not even up to anything though because overall is um 10 percent and daily should be five percent okay so this should just be 0 0.5 not up to even one percent okay so now this one was in profit again you see yeah because this was the actual cp zone this one was in profit and another entry again that i entered here with another one percent gave me this thing so overall both of them gave me around um because this one is one is to three this one i risked one to get three that is i risked on the account i trade fifty thousand dollars i risked um 500 to get 1.5 here and yeah i risked um this is one is to although this one was like actually one is to one point something at this zone here because overall it's one is to two to at this up here but since it didn't reach this one we took it here it's, it's like um one is to one point something so it should it gave me 500 600 700 so plus this one overall was two thousand dollars on the street here okay let's do do more examples on sniper entry and fake breakouts okay so let's see let's see let's see looking for a good trade to analyze this on this is a zone this is a zone exactly what i was uh, explaining on my trade so my first view was when it bounced here that it will come hit here bounce on this zone here before shooting up you understand so you see what the market did it came it came here okay it's like i entered at this point when i saw this green candle let me zoom it so you can see it clearly you see that there was a green a week yeah so i entered conservatively because it was not actually close with a green before i enter aggressively but you see the um, it ended up creating a week before shooting down so it hit my first stop loss so when it went up again shoot this did this one again i didn't enter again because um the trade itself was invalidated because i was expecting it to shoot from this when you see the strain line i draw there i was expecting it to bounce from your hit here before going up so i just closed this trade although this one didn't give me any huge loss so i waited for this particular zone again this two zone here you see this box i draw here this first one and the second one here so when the market went up it bounced on this trend line came down bounced here again so now i waited for it to shoot up 
still change this zone now that was once um a resistance to support now you see what the market did here it changed it to support so okay so you see i waited now for this particular stuff i was waiting here to happen here now to change this zone here as a res um this thing as a support now to shoot up because it was once a resistance here it failed to break up if we shoot you see here now it, it changed to a little bit of support before going down yeah it played around so this was a strong vital zone yeah you see here you see at uh, this zone too you see support change to resistance back so this is a vital zone so i waited for it to come hit here yeah, now it's like a sniper entry so sniper entries are mostly gotten when we are um like waiting for a treat like we mapped out something to happen and once it happened that's more like a sniper entry it gives us more um this thing a sniper entry so now market was here i waited for it to heat up or hit here because here you see this place i mapped out here was where i was expecting it to hit before coming back but you see it shoot up it exceeded this point here shot up and came down once it hit here this first can do the second one i entered the second one now i entered and took it way up so this is what um, i mean by having a sniper entry okay so when it shut down at this point i entered and we bought all the way up to this to this zone here so that's um, just a more on sniper entry let's look for one more trade about um fake breakout or another sniper entry okay this one was the one i did when i was flipping um this in um a small account this particular trade here let me explain this one too that ended up with losses all this ones exactly what i was uh, i just explained for you guys came this zone became a resistance here once a support here so when it i waited for it to break it turn this zone now as a um support for it to shoot up so that was happened here yeah? and when it came back again this was the vital next vital zone here yeah? because you see there was now the next vital zone this psychology level here yeah? so it bounced back went up so i went waited for it to now ch change this place now to support before going up so when it shoot up came down i didn't enter this one and this other this is not a sniper entry though but it had zero drawdown though so now this what i mean here yeah? so when it shot up it changed this place now this zone now to uh, support and i waited for it to break the neckline here yeah. this neckline here yeah. the the recent high it created so when it came down so i won't be faked out because you know this other trend line here yeah. there's a trend line here yeah. so it might just be bounce bounce come down bounce bounce so yeah now was so risky to just um buy at this zone here yeah? you understand because you should know what this means it, sh it can just shoot down to this point here yeah? so i waited for it to break this neckline yeah so when it once once it broke this neckline i entered and that's why i had this successful trade yeah too when it came here i wanted it to come hit here sorry my point here was for it to hit um turn this zone here to um although i didn't even my i didn't go through this place because it's exceeded here because of this small minor stuff i was thinking okay this day small retracement is creating before shooting up so when it broke this place here broke the recent low here you see the recent low you broke it i entered so you see all strategy is not 100 percent so you can have this thing losses at some time so this one hit my stop loss and took me out of the trade okay so once it went down again now you change this zone here this previous place as a um support this way you could have entered to carry it down although that one when it hit me i closed for that day because i exceeded i don't risk more than 1.5 percent a day so this one was the one that i used to on flipping the trade was actually was it year or year so i said okay if should break this okay sorry our the trade was here so i was waiting for it to come hit this zone before coming down then i'll enter here this would have been a sniper entry from here down here so the trade just turned hit here you see why it's hit here because here was here is a vital zone so here was a vital zone so it just retraced here before shooting down so i didn't enter here i now waited for it to break this one now then turn this zone here if you look back um let's minimize a little 
you see this zone here yeah? you see this zone here yeah? let me drag it so you see you see this zone here yeah? so i want it, waited for it to now turn this place to now um to a, a resistance before shooting down okay so when the market broke down with this doji touching it i entered at the end each day i entered some trades there so it came up created another um candle here yeah. so when this candle was opening that red one this next one here yeah, opening you know now it's breaking this neckline so it's time to go aggressively so i entered more trees there yeah at this point here yeah. still in that second candle i entered more trade and once it broke out i entered aggressively you see it had zero retracement just little retracement from this green candle that opened here you see where the green candle stopped before shooting down all the way to our tp zone so that's the first trade i entered on that small account and my big account though so this one gave me um 50 dollars at this place here like this so this second trade here the same thing happened it was all the way here so now this is where you cash normal real breakout so a breaker must a real breaker is the one that happens more like it breaks um a train line change the recent place that the market do touch to um listen to either support or resistance then you enter from that place to a break so same thing happened here we waited for it so now change this zone as a um resistance before shooting down so once it did that came up we entered the trade all these things this one is like i entered it more on a five minute chart or so let me see it's like i entered that trade more on a five minute chart yeah i remember yes on five minute chart so it wasn't that clear there even those two trades i took because it was a smaller account to be scalping so i entered it both on the five minute chart so this is it you see the minor retracement you see this zone here now you see it clearly now clearly now you see yes it was once a support support so we waited for it it the market was here now i wanted for it to break turn this um recent and frequent zone where the market touched to um a resistance before shooting down so this was the second trade now see the first one clearly now now you see the retracement clearly now there it was just a um a doji candle on that 15 minutes giving you a good confirmation to enter on this thing so this one had little retracement here yeah you see there before shooting down so that's more of how i cash boot sniper entries and how i enter trade conservatively not to get knocked out by the market and how to we i uh, do identify fake outs i'll still make more video on the full strategy like what i see before entering a trade you see yeah, i didn't tell you what i saw like when all this thing happened what did i see what did i okay uh, before entering a trade so that's it guys on how to identify fake outs how to enter and get a sniper entry on code and how to trade with little or zero drawdown so see you guys on the next video and if you are new to this channel and still yet to subscribe do well to hit the subscribe button turn on post notification to get notified whenever i drop new forest related videos like videos like this so just hit the subscribe button see you guys on the next video